Hello, everybody. Hello, Destiny, and I'm guessing that's Svival and Noxmog. Hey, Mama Ash. Hey, Kyle. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas to those of you celebrating today. Um, and, you know, happy general secular winter holiday season. Happy pagan holidays if you're repaganizing, reclaiming that. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You're on the other side of the globe. I get it. <laughs> I wasn't originally going to stream tonight. Um, it's been I haven't streamed since the end of my summer. And uh, I was hoping to stream because I have two weeks off right now from my day job of teaching. Uh, and Steph and I are taking, you know, a couple weeks off from recording. And I'm like, yeah, I'll stream. And I wasn't planning to stream tonight. And then, you know, I did all this and all this for Christmas dinner, which was like short. And I'm like, uh, I could take this all off or I could broadcast my image live across the internet. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> Exactly, Kyle. Yeah. I'm glad that I got to surprise you, Mama Ash. <laughs> it, yeah, it, I mean, <laughs> did I reapply my lipstick? Yes. Was it in Dire Straits? No. I'm wearing uh, Sephora's cream lip stain. This is just the uh, number one always red. Um, it held up pretty well to dinner. It's just on the, the inside part. And I don't know if people are going to notice that, but I notice it. So, <laughs> um, It's been okay so far. It's, you know, this is my favorite configuration of holiday break for me. When my two weeks off starts with Christmas right away, like last year, I had a whole week off before Christmas and that I hate that because then it's like, okay, well, you're spending a week leading up to Christmas and then, you know, suddenly, um, suddenly it's like, you don't really feel like you get time to relax after Christmas and then New Year's hits and suddenly you're back to work. Um, and I realize I'm very privileged that I get two weeks off around the Christmas holidays, but, um, I like when. Christmas hits, and then I get a week after Christmas until New Year's, and then New Year's hits, and then I still have a week off, and I get to, like, be a hermit. Um, my only complaint right now is we don't have snow, and for those of you who aren't aware, I am in Canada. I am in a place called Thunder Bay, Ontario. Normally, we it's very cold at this time of year, and we get a lot of snow, uh, and it's neither of those things, which is bad. <laughs> Hey, Captain Squarepants, thank you for following. <sighs> so, um, I was hoping to be all cozy in my home with the snow coming down and knitting and watching Christmas movies, and that hasn't happened yet. So, um, that feels a bit weird. And then today in particular just feels like it's gone by so fast. Yesterday, slowest day ever in a great way. I got so much done. I had so much energy yesterday. I baked. Um, I made a bunch of baking. I had my friend come over. We watched uh, some TV together. It was great. Um, lasted forever that day. Today, woke up, uh, went to my dad's to exchange gifts, um, came home. I knew I was going to his partner's house for dinner tonight. And I'm like, okay, well, I got to clean my bathroom and wash my hair and you know, do my nails and do my makeup and get ready. <laughs> and I'm supposed to go over there at five o'clock. <laughs> and he texts me at 2.30 and he says, 
come for f like we were gonna eat at five so i was planning to get there around 4 30. he's like come for four it's 2 30. i'm just starting to do my hair and let me tell you i am discovering i am not the kind of girl that can get ready in a hurry like i can if i really need to but not when i want to do all this right i gotta take my time um, so I was in a little bit of a rush. Plus, I had to go next door and feed my neighbor's cats because they're out of town at the moment. And normally I like to play with them for a bit. And yeah, no, it was just, it was a whole thing. But anyway, had a, a nice little Christmas dinner. And then I came home and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to stream. Uh, but things are slowing down after this. Today was my busy day. I've got two friends that I'll see tomorrow for a little bit. And then I'll see a couple more people over the next week or so. But for the most part, you know, not planning to leave my house, except maybe doing some more streams, if you're lucky. <laughs> Lightning storms? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, so I know uh, several of you, first time viewing, first time to my stream. I think most of you are coming from the Prophecy Girls Discord. Um, but for the benefit of anybody who's lurking who isn't, hi, uh, my name is Kara, my pronouns are she, her, and I'm not, I don't like calling myself a Twitch streamer, I, I, I guess I'm a podcaster. Um, I am one half of Prophecy Girls, a Buffy rewatch podcast, along with my lovely co-host Stephanie Chow. Uh, re, we are rewatching Buffy, we just finished season six, and we will be starting season seven in the new year, so... If you've just stumbled across this channel or you're watching this VOD and you're like, what's going on? Uh, that's what's going on. And last Christmas, I streamed some of the Buffy Xbox games. Um, you can go to prophecygirls.ca slash streams. That's prophecygirls.ca slash streams. Uh, and you'll see a YouTube playlist of all the previous streams, including those Buffy streams, and then um, all of the streams of this other game that I started playing this past summer called Vampire. Uh, so this is not a Buffy game. Ooh. Neck crick. <laughs> <sighs> me too, Destiny. Me too. <laughs> Don't worry. We have Steph and I have plans. Steph and I have plans. Uh, we are not ready to announce those plans yet, but plans are indeed being planned. <laughs> um, so I am playing a game called Vampire by, I think it's Focus Interactive. <laughs> and uh, in this game, I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. It is 1918. It is London, England. So I'm recently returned from the front of, of the Great War. Uh, and when I get back to London... I get bitten and turned into a vampire, Satch. Uh, and so the point of the game is that you're trying to figure out the whole mystery of like, well, who turned me into a vampire? Why are they so rude? Uh, what happened to my sister? Oh, wait, I killed my sister. My sister was the first person whose blood I sucked. Um, and as the game goes on, you basically, it's like a morality thing. You basically get to choose, like, are you going to be a good vampire and not kill humans and just feed off of rats and when you're in combat and stuff. Um, <laughs> starting it so early? Well, we're taking a little break. We normally take a few weeks off uh, in between seasons. There'll be a couple bonus episodes uh, and then we'll, we'll be back to it. <laughs> I mean, we also just kind of like not, not like get it done, but like we are we are ready to do season seven. <laughs> We're right on into it. Yeah, but you've got a couple of bonus episodes coming. Don't worry. <laughs> so I started off this game um, playing Doctor Reed, Johnny as we call him. Uh, kind of like curious about being a vampire. <laughs> And as the game has progressed, the, the way I've been playing it is basically uh, he has to resist his darker impulses. So he doesn't want 
to like give in to being an evil vampire. But it's getting harder and harder, especially as people piss him off. Um, and actually, one of the one of our listeners and often watching the stream, Azure, has been keeping a list for me. And she's not here right now, so I'll do my best to remember my list. But basically, there are some people in the game that are on my hit list or my my kill list. I don't know what you call it. Is that bad to say? Can I say that on Twitch? There are people in this game, NPCs, there are people in this game that I'm going to, you know, bite um, when I have the the power to do so, because some of them are too powerful. Um, and, you know, when when it feels right. If I kill too many people at once, the game doesn't like that, but the game also really wants to reward me. <laughs> I'll try my best, Kyle. Yes, yes, people, it's the suck job list. You're right. <laughs> Car on trial? Never gonna happen. You can't make anything stick. Um, so as the game has progressed, um, somebody's making more and more, like, skulls, which are, like, not smart vampires. They're, like, animalistic vampires. I'm just going to turn down my levels on my microphone a little bit here. There we go. Let me know if that's too low. Um, let me move this a bit away from my face. It's been a while since I've streamed. I'm actually very impressed that OBS and everything is working. I just turned everything on and I plugged everything in and it's working great. Um, so what has Johnny done? Johnny has um, done the... Edwardian, George, you know, Georgian, I don't know what we call this time period. He's done the equivalent of like making out with a hot lady vampire. Um, they were flirting earlier, which I didn't know if they were, but I appreciate the chat telling me that they were flirting. Um, he's met the hot lady vampire's human daughter, which is weird. Um, he's getting closer to unraveling the mystery of who created him and what's going on in, in London. Uh, he killed his sister because she got turned into a vampire. And ooh, he killed his family's old butler. Um, that's about it. I haven't played this game in three months. No, four months. I haven't played since August. So I'm going to be really bad at it for a little bit as I try to remember how the hell the game works. It's a combat game. The combat is not the greatest, but... Now that we're super leveled up and we have, you know, all these powers and abilities, it's not bad. But if you go back and you watch like my first couple of streams, I died a lot. <laughs> so that's that's vampire. You're all caught up. Do I remember what was going on when I left off on this game? No. So we're gonna find out together. <laughs> Any questions before we start? You can tell I'm a teacher, right? I'm like, okay, here's what we're doing today, class. Any questions? <laughs> Just checking those socials for a moment. Do, do, do. All right. Need a pre assessment. <laughs> uh, let's get started then. My volume. Okay. And let me know if the game audio is too loud or too quiet versus my voice. Press the button, Kara. All right, science without conscience. <laughs> 
It's like, you haven't played me in four months. I'm going to load slowly. All right, so here we are. Reach the Doris Fletcher's Theater. All right, so here's Johnny. As you can see, being a vampire is uh, changing him. He has seen better days. Nope. Uh, tab. There we go. So here's my weapons and my abilities. You'll see the, those in a bit. So I've got a nice sword and I've got a stake and a shotgun. Ooh, I need to make more serums. All right. Um, my furnace is on. Let me know if you can hear it in the background and if it's like really annoying. And I'll turn it off. All right, let's review what my quests are. <laughs> all right, so right now I'm at Pembroke Hospital, which is kind of like our home base. I've done all the quests here that I can do. In the docks, the only thing is the necklace, but I have no idea how to do that quest. Um, I think we tried this for like two hours last time we were streaming, and I just can't find the necklace and I don't know what to do so I'm going to ignore that quest in the west end uh, learn where the, is the notebook stolen from Usher Tall, Tall Tree by Prewin agents okay so we could do that quest uh, find the third part of your father's testament or we could do that quest uh, nothing going on in Whitechapel all right um Inventory, missions. So this is our main quest right now. Oh. Oh, there we go. Sorry, Twitch wasn't showing me the mod icons. There we go. <sighs> okay, so, Science Without Conscience. The guard of Prewin have abducted Edgar Swansea. Uh, Edgar Swansea is our Giles. He hired us. And um, he's really, really into vampires. Not like into into them. But like he's like, vampires are cool, and you should be thinking it's cool that you're a vampire, Johnny. Um, so the guard of Prewin are like the Watchers. If the Watchers were more like edgy, I mean he's he's got abducted Kyle, so yes. All right. Um, I shall go there as soon as possible and rescue my dear old friend. You know what? <laughs> That's not happening. We are doing side quests first. Um, let's find the third part of my father's testament. Uh, but first, do I have enough materials to do some crafting? Here we go, with the strong stamina serum. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. A little 
else can I craft? Craft. Craft you. Sure, we'll craft you. Great. All right. Coolio, do I need any more shotgun shells? Cool. All right, let's go to Whitechapel. Know how to navigate. <laughs> I can also do this. So yeah, I can do that. That was, what, what ability is that? That's my Abyss ultimate. Uh, I have two other ultimates. I have Blood Cauldron and Rage. Uh, Rage is really good when I have a lot of enemies around me. Uh, Blood Cauldron is just like messy. And then Abyss is pretty, pretty OP, IMO. Um, but yeah, we'll level up soon. Anyway, anything else I can steal? Coolio. All right, so we're gonna go up here. Left. How dare you interfere with my hunt! You're bleeding! Alright. No, I went the wrong way. This game is like kind of hard to navigate. It's uh... Here we go. Oh. Oh, I gotta kill you first. Oh, this is great. <laughs> I died. Uh. <laughs> it's not as hard as it seems, Mama Ash. Like, it's a little bit chaotic, but again, I haven't played this for four months, so I'm very rusty on how to work the combat. It's all good. The only thing I've lost is uh, some blood here. I probably should have gone the other way, but that's... Oh, my good... Pfft. Guys, y'all, I need to be back at the hospital. I didn't even have to go this far. This right here, that's if I want to do the main quest, which I don't want to do right now. I've been going the wrong way. Wow. All right, well, we're just going to go back here. Yes, yes, you're big, bad vampire guy. I get it. I get it. I get it. You're a meanie. 
Dr. Swansea's office, because I wouldn't put it past him. Step here. I don't think I've ever been in this elevator before. <laughs> Are not notoriously good at directions. <laughs> oh no, this is where we have the boss fight. In the last, last uh, mission. I don't think there's anything left here to get. All right, so we're gonna go down here. Do you need to refill your blood bar? Try rat blood. No, Johnny. Uh, we were just in there. All right, let's go down here. Go in here. She thinks she's a vampire. We haven't killed her yet. Damn disgust on every street corner. Okay. Is this where I'm supposed to be? It's where die flies. Time has lost its effect Here on me. But the suffering. Do I have to go into the sewers? City is more peaceful without the bombs, but no less dangerous. Find the third part of your father's testament. I may have to leave this quest for now and come back to it when I kind of like have a better sense of what the hell I'm doing here. I'm 
unfinished letter. My dear children, I did not write to you before, but it hurts like hell just to write these few words on bloody paper. Don't worry. Daddy will go out of the hospital as soon as the doctors fix his arm. <sighs> In the meantime, if you need something to go see Mr. Chadwick at the construction site and tell him you are Harvey Fittick's children. You remember Robert Chadwick, the big guy with a mustache who helped me repair the house doors last spring? Go see him and ask for a few bob. He won't refuse to spare you a few. I'm sorry I can't work anymore for now, but we'll figure out something as soon as I'm out. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Oh dear. Yeah, this poor guy. This poor guy. Okay, well, he's... See, so, level one mesmerize means I could eat him now. Um, I have unlocked all the hints, so that means that I'm going to get the maximum level of experience points from eating him. However, I don't think he's on my suck job list because he's a pretty, like, sympathetic dude. I only kill bad people, uh, like racists, uh, homophobic people. Um, there's a lot of homophobes in this game, you know, 1918 London. Um, there's some gay characters, too. And there's some characters of color, and we don't eat those. So, I think Harvey's safe right now. Oh, you're back. Let you down, my boy. Good evening, Doc. Do you require medical attention? I have other. Yeah, she's healthy. Do you require. I have. So I could mesmerize Goodbye, her. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. I'm quite. He's healthy. We don't like this guy, but I don't think he deserves to die. Thank you for your time. But I don't know. My opinion might change next mission. What's in here? What's in here? Move, move. There's a shiny thing over there. Move. I'll kill you right now. All right. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. All right, we might just have to do the main quest for now. Uh, okay, we could do this quest first. Primate, they would have taken to their headquarters. Okay. Oh, see, this one has a little tracker. All right, we're going to the same place. Okay, this quest is going to go well. Let's do it. Uh, we're going to go this way this time, because that other way sucked. I also need more blood. It's a late! Kill it! Bye! On, Sorry, just passing through. Bye! Oh. 
All right, well, nice little pile of bodies there. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to change up my ultimate for now. I'm going to change that back to rage. There we go. I think I need that for now until I get better at this combat. Okay, so we're going to go right. Nope, we are going the wrong way. Ah, oh, this game. We're gonna go straight. And then we're gonna go right. Is he gonna move around? Is he gonna turn around? I'd like him to turn around. to sneak up on <sighs> I was trying to suck that guy's blood. I don't really need to, I guess. I get a little blood back when I uh, fight with some of my weapons here. Um, Alright, keep going straight for a bit. Don't need any rats right now. Sneak up on this guy. Do 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 do. Um, excuse me, but I'm looking for your secret headquarters. <laughs> No? You don't know where those are? All right. Well, have a nice day. You know, if I'm smart, there's probably a way to, like, get in from bot the back, but I'm not smart. Materials. Do, do, do. Don't mind me. All right. Well, let's go indoors. mistreat you deserve it i appreciate the vote of confidence there don't worry we'll kill somebody so soon enough Prewin never left doris's theater after they invaded they must be holding edgar here in their new headquarters all right cool okay it looks like we're going to the same spot i love this love it when a plan comes together oh yeah i've got vampire senses what is that v yes all right, so there's a guard up there. Two guards. 
Both level 31. Okay, no problem, no problem. This isn't really... This isn't really a stealth game. It's not really a stealth game, but you know. Steady, boys. We've got one over here. Oops. Didn't even realize that I switched to the shotgun. My bad. Should reload that. There we go. Can I just... Oh yeah, I forgot I can't jump in this game. I don't like games that don't let you jump. Hello. Remember your bars, friend. Anybody else nearby? Dr. Swansea's down there. That's locked. It's locked. That door doesn't open. Okay. Nothing going on here. Oh, what's that? Mm, lead stick and bullet. My favorite things to loot. Okay, Dr. Swansea, level 32 rogue. We can do this. Hello. It's one of them! Uh, uh, it, boys! I ordered you. Just wait a moment for my uh, cooldown to expire on those abilities. If you could jump, then these games would have no use for their insurmountable waist high fences. I love it. All right. Show me my cooldown here. No. Oh, there we go. Okay. 40 seconds. Bullet again. Okay, we have to go down. How do we go down again? We 
Edgar, I'm coming for you. I just don't know how to get around this place because the map is confusing. So I came here. I can't go this way. It's locked. It's locked. I swear I was not always this bad at this game. <laughs> Suggestions are welcome, by the way. Um, obviously, if you've played the game, don't like tell me exactly what to do, but you know, I'm always open to good ideas. There's no point in me wasting time. <laughs> I feel like that should be something I should break. Like get down here. The problem with this game is they can't decide if it's a puzzle game or a combat game or what's going on. I feel like I should be able to make this break. Maybe if I go back up to the catwalk. Is there something I can cut? I cannot enter. Or turn. Come on, game. Give me something. Normally there's something I can do. Hey, Quentin. Thanks for joining my vampire stream. Uh, this is my first time playing this game in four months, so I'm a little rusty, and I have no idea what I'm doing right now. How do I get to you, Edgar? <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a pretty good game, all things considered. Like, it's a the combat is a little clunky, and it. Like, it's really hard in the first part of the game. And then once you level up and you, you know, you figure out your abilities and stuff, it's pretty playable. It's a good story. The dialogue is a little clunky. The subtitles are not proofread, which bothers me. Um, ooh, bullet. I am stuck. 
What is going on here? He's underneath me. And there's nothing I can slice or cut to get through it. saying that, but I mean, I don't think you need to be defeated at this point, guys, because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, if I leave, it's going to reload all those enemies, but I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> Bye, people. Thanks for hanging out. So I'm wondering if maybe I can get in another way? Oh, hello. Like, I'm thinking there must be like a basement? And like, this is where I had a previous mission. Do I remember it? No, because it's been forever. Let's see if this works. Uh, I have not Quentin. I've had people recommend those to me. So I'm not saying no to it. But I also hear they're kind of sad. <laughs> I'm hoping to finish Vampire uh, over the holidays here. And then we'll see what game I want to stream next. Okay, so that was the locked door. I don't think this helps me. Because I've been here before. Can I get out this way? It's locked, all right. I just came in that way. Ah, oh, I really hope the enemies haven't reloaded. All right. So that was a bust. Later. 
So I just went in this way. So that wasn't helpful. What if I go up here? We're working the problem. Okay, this is also not useful to me. Remember your vows, friend. Lord, give us strength. It's not going to let me out that way, is it? Oh, Have faith, brothers. Oh, at least it lets me out this way. Okay. All right, so I just quickly looked up a hint using the internet, because this is not fun, right? Just wandering around, wondering if the game's bugged, wondering if I've missed something. I did miss something, apparently. Do -do -do. Apparently there's a report I'm supposed to pick up. This one probably. Here we go. Ah, McCollum's report. I just finished reading Doris Fletcher's journal. As painful and dreadful as it was, my God, the woman planned to see everyone in London afflicted by infecting all who would come to her next play. It helped me understand greatly what is going on. Doris Fletcher's real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of some Harriet Jones, who has been treated as a patient for a long time at the Pembroke Hospital. She clearly hated her mother, but used her fame and notoriety to see her while visiting the poor and sick in the East End. I don't know exactly what happened then, but this is how her mother infected her before returning to the theater. 
and how she turned into that monstrosity that the leech known as Jonathan Reed, that's us, finally defeated. The presence of that vampire in the same hospital where Harriet Jones was treated can't be a coincidence. I believe I killed Harriet Jones? I am convinced he is deeply involved with the vampire plague going on in London right now. I am also convinced Swansea is his accomplice, and that those two are planning something more terrifying than anything the guard has ever faced. Maybe I should take some time to read the old books and manuscripts the guard still possess to get some answers. You see what I mean about the lack of proofreading? It may prove useful. In the meantime, I better send some patrols to investigate about what is occurring at Pembroke Hospital. I'm really glad this guy's not writing his journal in code or anything. Two days later. It took me two days to parse through the dusty registers and books we keep in the vault. God, I hate losing time like this. The search did prove fruitful for once. I found two pages that could be related to our present situation in a copy of William Marshall's memoirs. I took them with me to read more carefully. This creature Marshall says he fought in 1666. See what they did there? This disaster that aimed to destroy London, it is very similar to what happened with Doris Fletcher. Disease, infection, hate of the living, a desire to see the city ransacked. I have no doubt that the bloody old leech of William Marshall is behind all this and that he is back. This could be our greatest accomplishment. If the guard could at last find and destroy that old bastard. I believe what Marshall did in 1666 is exactly what Reed is now trying to do. Did the creature, this disaster, escape their will? Is it why Marshall destroyed him in 1666? And Reed did the same with Doris Fletcher before she became such a creature? I don't know. But those two are clearly working together and Swansea is helping them. I will immediately give orders to have him arrested and interrogated. As for Reed, I'll destroy that evil beast myself. Ooh, I smell a boss fight. Uh, and then we'll deal with William Marshall. Oh. Uh, and this disaster thing. Pre will, will prevail once Doris more. Doris Fletcher was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. Here, finally. Here we go. It's locked. Cool. Hello. I'll tell you. Here we go. It's locked, all right. Oh. Well, that's inconvenient. It's locked, all right. So much is locked. The Vampire Knight, William Marshall. Forget the legend about the man, the one most of you never heard of, you lazy bastards. Forget the empty tomb. Forget the death of those among us who died trying to locate him. We, the guard, know that he is still hiding somewhere. So we think William Marshall might have been my maker. Uh, he's like a super powerful vampire. Da -da -da -do. All right. <laughs> William Marshall's memoirs. The Brotherhood of the St. Paul's Stole finally agreed to meet me in London. They proposed to meet me inside the new Cathedral of St. Paul. Da, da, da. Tear of Angels. Blood of a pure heart. Garlic. Blood of a king. I don't understand. Evidence safe. Just find me on the last floor to get the key, and bloody remember to bring it back to me when you're done. I should find the key to that box. It's locked. It's almost certainly where the diary is for that side quest. Can I go in here now? Yes. Edgar. Edgar, can you hear me? 
Jonathan, is it really you? Easy. Easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Jeffrey McCollum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would... dare to attack us in the open. What became of him? I put him in a somewhat delicate position. Oh, I, I forgot about that. An immortal. I fought McCollum. Really? And I turned him into a vampire. Are you sure that was the wisest course of action? Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... Uh, they tortured me. The voice me acting isn't bad. Confess the same nonsense. I think you're hiding something, Edgar. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Uh, Jonathan, I, I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. Why would the guard of Prewen believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession? Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story he was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. Why is the guard of Prewen so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. Why would he deserve such a reputation? I like to hear all the dialogue. I cannot say. <laughs> the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll has next to no intelligence on him. All I know is that he's supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, you would Edna, think as a vampire, I could like Doris Fletcher was Harriet tell if they exhibited you know, his the heart's same beating symptoms. irregularly because he's lying. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. You say it was to see her mother. She seemed like such a sweet and graceful woman. My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just like her mother, a symptom of all the infected patients. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. Rabies, for example. And rabies is not the devil at work. 
Come on, Edgar. Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic? The link between Doris and Harriet? The suspicion of McCullum? How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. Oh no, I let Harriet live and she escaped and went to a skull colony underground. Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. How dare lady you Ashbury judge is me? Johnny's lady. Must I name the alarming list of your victims? We are both deceivers. But at least I know I'm a monster. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. Okay. Chat, we have a choice. Do I kill him? Uh, do I just leave him to die of his wounds? Or do I turn him into a vampire? Ah. <sighs> <laughs> What do you think? Okay, well, I'll help you, Mama Ash. Um, I'm not gonna let him, just, I'm not just gonna leave him. I'm either gonna turn him or I'm going to embrace him. What do you think? Okay. Mama Ash is saying turn. <laughs> Kyle's like, he wants to be turned. Clearly. Any lurkers want to give their opinion? I think I'll do it. I think I'll uh, sacrifice the, uh, the experience points. I don't mind doing that. I can kill a couple other people if I need to. Um, but I think I agree. Let's do it. Come on, Eddie. Become a creature of the night. No, Edgar. You are not going to die. Unless you want to. What? What, what do you mean? I can save you, Edgar. I can turn your broken body into one like mine. You truly would? After all I've done, I, after all that's been said, you would offer me this gift? I have no way of knowing which punishment would be worse, Edgar. <laughs> but it is not for me to decide. So? Oh, please, Jonathan, please. I beg oh, you. Oh, he's into it. This is what I've always wanted. This is what I've always searched for. Very well, then. Prepare to die and be reborn. To face an eternity of guilt. I'm ready. Oh, indeed, I am ready. <laughs> I turned to look away, but I'm seeing the preview in Enough. OBS. No, thank you. We got a Chivo. Hint failed. All right, I gotta go talk to Lady Ashbury. Ooh, I'm in chapter six, which I believe is the final chapter. 
cool. Oh, I have negative XP right now. I should probably kill somebody. Oh, he was worth 6,000 XP if I embraced him. Interesting. Uh, nobody's sick right now. I need this guy's... Ooh. Maybe I'll get this guy's uh, diary and then I'll kill him. I don't know. No, he's a person in color. We're not, we're not going to kill that guy. Uh, who could I kill? Kill her. Could kill this guy. He's just like a, a, what are you, a gourmet. I don't think anybody would miss him. Got to find the safe key. I have to go to the last floor, which I assume means the third floor. Stay close, guys. Oh, hello. Lisa, watch out, boys. Okay, well that was easy. Cool. I really don't know if I should read this. Oh, hell yeah. Of course I'm going to read this. Uh, so this is the uh, personal notebook of the primate of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, which are like vampire, not quite groupies, but like enthusiasts. The cards worry me for the keep on announcing the coming of an imprecise but terrible danger distinct from this awful war. Something's definitely going on. The only noticeable event is the frequent meetings between Aloysius Dawson and the Ascalon Club. I killed Aloysius. A uh, terrible epidemic is upon us, and I don't like this at all. All over the world, thousands dead, broken families. The clown is upon us. Uh, McCollum. For the second time, I fear for the city. I oh, can't boring. believe it. But, uh, so tempted to kill him. But, uh, like I said, we are not killing racialized people in this game. All right. All right, um, I'm gonna take a quick break. I need to put my laundry in the dryer because I am an adult and I'm doing laundry on Christmas day night. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna grab something else to drink. So be back in, you know, a few minutes.
And I'm back. Ah. <laughs> Mama Ash, this is a random question, but are dryers common in Australia? Because I know when I was living in England, uh, it was rare for people to have dryers. So um, I actually was living in a place that had a dryer. Uh, the second place that I lived in, my landlady had a dryer and it was like, ooh, luxury. So I don't know, how are Australians with laundry? Do you, do you have dryers? Half and half? Ah, interesting, interesting. Ah, I like my dryer. <laughs> ah, I know that they're not good for clothes and they use a lot of energy, but I like it. <laughs> I do use my clothesline during the summer. Like during the summer, uh, unless it's raining outside, I exclusively dry everything on the clothesline. So thank you for reminding me. That's a good point. Like half the year, I'm not actually using my dryer that much, but during the winter, mm, love it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ah, interesting, Kyle. Yeah. All right. I hope everybody else is hydrated. I just have water right now. So we just uh, turned Dr. Swansea, Edgar, into a vampire like us, a vampire. And now let's go talk to Lady Ashbury and also the primate of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stool. And along the way, if we can find somebody uh, that I could kill, I should have looked up the suck job list or asked Azure to provide it to me in the Discord, and I didn't, and that's my bad. Uh, we're just going to have to improvise. <laughs> I'm also getting less and less picky about whom I, I bite, much to uh, Reese's disappointment. Oh, I muted myself. There we go. Sorry, the... I mute the music for all of you, but it's still going in my headphones. There we go. We're back. I know how to stream. <laughs> all right. Uh, where am I going? Oh, that's so far. That's so far. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go right and then kind of like turn around. So Harriet Jones became the original carrier when Edgar gave her vampire blood. But I must tell Elizabeth. Cool. I'm gonna go straight. Hello, everybody. It's going to go right. Hello. Right. Pretty sure I can.
Okay, now I believe the primate is underground. Hello, you. Dr. Reed. Oh, he's healthy. Do you need medical attention? I'm fine. Oh, he's the detective guy. I could kill him. Is it true you were dropped in rank? Tell me about it. Yes, it is. I made a terrible mistake. I deserved it. Sometimes I think I should have resigned. So why are you still working here? Because I'm a damn fine copper. I just don't want to have someone innocent hung again by mistake because of me. The death penalty is not an efficient deterrent. I sometimes think it pushes criminals to more violence, since they know they have nothing to lose. I agree. I'm convinced all civilized nations should abolish the death penalty. Maybe after the war, once that bloodshed is over, the survivors will change that. Oh. Oof. Oof. I don't know. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. He's a nice guy, but you know what? It's time to feed. Exactly. Hi, Carly. <laughs> So you were the killer. I knew I was. Oh, he was on to me. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Okay. Well, that gets me back in the positive for XP. So that's good. Sorry, Charles. Sorry, not sorry. Hello again, Carol. My mother always told me that she had to protect me. Yes, Carol. I don't know what you mean. Do you need my... No. How much is she? 1900? Do you remember now what your mother did to you, Carol? Do you realize how badly she treated you? My mother was a sick person who was afraid to be alone. Her whole life, she looked I think I killed the mom. of all her fears and failures. Hi, Carly and company. <laughs> Your mother was very sick, Miss Price. Her sadism towards you was only an expression of her mental disorder. She was a victim, too. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps my mother was a monster. Or a victim of some mental illness. All I know is I can't imagine my life without her. Ooh, maybe... Maybe she'd be better off dead now, since she can't imagine her life without her mother. I killed her mom. Her mom was abusing her. <laughs> Are you going to be all right without your mother here? Financially, I mean. I have inherited all of my mother's money. She always told me how poor we would be if we stopped working. But as always, she took care of everything. She lied to you then? Maybe she did. But that was for my own good. My mother loved me, Dr. Reed. Her will testifies to that. How do you really feel, Miss Price? I feel like I'm on the edge of a... Hmm. I don't know. No, sorry.
Johnny is just, you know, he's really given in to his vampire urges these days. Anybody else want to die? Anybody? No? All right. Oh, her shop's closed now. Okay, well, I hope I didn't want anything else from her shop. Um... Jonathan Reed. Can I help you in any way? I found your notebook. The one the guard of Prewen stole from you. And you've brought it back to me. That's excellent news, Jonathan. Were you able to keep yourself from reading it? <laughs> no. Ah, the oldest temptation of all. If Pandora herself did not pass the test, I suppose I should not blame you for your curiosity. So you're not angry with me? Why should I be? To live is to make choices, Jonathan. And you made yours. Now give it to me, please. How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The guards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? A vampire's fate is much more delicate to read, Doctor. But I can try. All right. You'll cast your heart into the... Tell, tell me, me the, the truth, truth, Usher. Usher. Are you a vampire? By the stole, you really thought you could force Usher Talltree to yield to your little mind tricks like an oblivious mortal? So, are you or are you not a vampire? As a brilliant man once said, to be unambiguous could only be to one's own detriment. Why can't I force you to answer me then? I'm the primate of St. Paul's stole. It comes with certain advantages, like accessing the greatest library in the country and avoiding answering certain questions. This guy is really annoying, and I really want to kill him, but we do not eat people of color on this stream. Unless, you know, the game forces us to as part of the plot. Um, this is not great out. Right? How do you... I told you. Is it... Po vampire? I would rather... There we go, okay. Cool. Uh, we've gone through these trees, I think. Can you read... Put the money on the... Yeah. Perhaps... Do Have you any... This? On... Goodbye, sir. I really... Well, that was a side quest. Yeah, um, I agree, Carly. But I mean, if he's super powerful, maybe he's got like tricks for hiding that. As you can tell, poor Johnny is somewhat obvious these days. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go chat with Lady Ashbury. Prepare to fight the disaster. Hmm, interesting. All right, how are we gonna do this? Uh, okay, we're gonna, I think, retrace our steps here.
straight. This one's mine. And then left. See, the problem with the map is that it doesn't orient itself to the direction you're facing, so you really gotta kind of think about it. Okay, so then straight and then left. do I need to evolve? It's not telling me. Straight. So oh, sorry. All right. Back to Lady Ashbury's house. Honey, I'm home. There we go. It's like a Windows loading bar. All right. Oh, are we upstairs today, dear? Okay. There we are. What good fortune brings you back to me, Jonathan? What is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad She's news. She's a giant pot of red paint. The worst, actually. Uh, Please, speak up. Bob Ross, she is bad. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? Of a sort. His injuries were mortal. I had no choice but to make him one of us. To save him. Or to punish him. To punish him? I fail to understand. And what is the source of this cold tone in your voice? Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic. See, she looks mostly human. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge of Johnny, London. not so much. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. He confessed everything to me. He sought to cure the disease, to exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic. But he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How could he do it? What happened? Edgar's behavior was beyond lunacy. He had neither the discipline, knowledge, nor the proper facilities to conduct blood experiments. I must say I'm shocked, Jonathan. Who would have- This is my shocked face. And the poor patient. Let me guess. It was Harriet Jones. Was Harriet Jones. Yes. Deputy Prime Minister. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected and how she became an icor. She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? <sighs> no. 
No. No. This can't be. Oh, God. Elizabeth. Are you all right? Oh, no, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait. No. Elizabeth. Great. That went well. Good job, Jonathan. Uh, gather the ingredients for the antidote. All right, so we're going on a fetch quest, I see. <laughs> Signed copy of Dracula, love it. It's locked, all right. All right. Let's go talk to Eddie back in Pembroke Hospital. See here. All right, so I think it makes sense to go here first and then back to the hospital and then up there. All right, so we're going to go left. Now would be a good time to blend the recipe Marshall used when he fought the disaster. I think I know where to find what I need. straight is there anything to connect me to this city anymore oh, probably over here whose blood could be purer than that of William Marshall. Lord Redgrave will have to spare me a drop. Fetch quest, we're on a fetch quest. Do, 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 do. Gather the magic ingredients, craft a potion. Somebody will inevitably betray me. That's how these things usually go. I don't know why the loading screens are so slow today. I'm still persona non grata in the Asylum oh. Club. If I want to speak with Lord Redgrave, I have to improvise.
Uh, maybe I should switch to shotgun. Alrighty. So much blood is in here. Money. Good evening, Lord Redgrave. What are you doing here, traitor? I shall smite you for this audacity. I'm not here to bicker, Lord Redgrave. I can put an end to this epidemic, but I need your assistance to do so. Good. We've held out thus far, but the time has come to put an end to this crisis. Tell me, what do you need? The blood of William Marshall. The blood of William Marshall? Of my maker? Are you mad? This blood is the purest of all. My maker proffered it to me on the battlefield. I cannot hand it to you. Stop this farce. Marshall never was your maker. I have no idea how you acquired his blood, but I need it now. I see. Well, in that case, given the gravity of the situation, I suppose I can spare you a drop. Thank you, my lord. If you manage to save this city, you'll prove yourself a veritable servant of the crown. So Godspeed, Dr. Reed. Our fate lies wholly in your hands. Did that seem too easy? That seems too easy to me. It's locked. That seemed too easy. Back to the hospital. Um, my stand. I'm gonna kill this guy, I think. Some serious I can find him.
Alright. Yo. How's it going, dude? Good evening, Doctor. It's healthy. Um just feeling bitey today. <laughs> he a lot of Christmas. I gotta get my strength up if I'm gonna save one from that. No, sorry, you can't go this way, dude. Yeah, move along. Thank you. Sorry, Calhoun. But you're gonna be a tasty meal with your gourmet tastes. may be the most disappointing dish I have ever tasted. So insipid. So cold. Ah, I can level up now. Ooh, and I got a key. Go back to the hospitals. We're gonna go to the left. Hey, dude. All right, let's go chat with Eddie and rest and evolve. Hey, Thelma. Yes, I know. There we go. Was he not in his office? That's rude. Where is he? Am I gonna look for him? Eddie, where are you? Oh, 
I'm quite busy right now. Thank you for your... Dr. Swansea, where are you? Are you in here? It's locked. Maybe I won't be able to talk to him until after I make the antidote. I'll go check up here just in case. I don't know why he'd be up here, but we'll check. Eddie, you up here? No? Okay, well, that was a waste of time. Downstairs we go. It's a long elevator ride. Let's carry on with the, the main quest here, and we'll see what happens. I cannot use garlic, but there may be a substitute in the Pembroke Hospital drug storage. There we 
Okay. Almost there. Shotgun armed. Uh, rather than rage, because there's not really groups of enemies here. So let's go back to Abyss. Find insulin. This is no way for you, sir. Come on! <laughs> Oh, come on. I'm sending you back in a fucking grave. for insulin. Where would that be? Probably going to have to go downstairs. meters upstairs it says well, maybe I was wrong about equipping raid not equipping rage. let's try Oh, I gotta wait now. Crap. There it is. There we Insulin. Go. Much more efficient than garlic against blood poisoning and sepsis, and much less dangerous for me. Thank you, Dr. Polescu. Okay, so we didn't have to go downstairs. That was good. Downstairs is scary. One more ingredient. So we're gonna go get a drop of King Arthur's blood, apparently. Which would be like, I don't know what, like 1400 years old? No, older than that. Ah. <sighs> Right? Oh, 
Oh, we were, I was going to rest first. That's what I was going to do. here. I could upgrade Blood Barrier. 3400 XP. Two more seconds. Yeah. I could upgrade Abyss. 6000 XP. Increases the damage quite a bit. Um, could upgrade bite. Hmm. I think I'm good for health. I've maxed out stamina. Blood capacity might be a good one to upgrade. Okay, let's do this. Let's upgrade Abyss. And... That's good. About accidental deaths. The inhabitants of London f live in fear of physicians. Delayed interventions, barefaced favoritism, and strange experimental treatments. This scarcity of professionalism is crystallized in Pembroke Hospital, Whitechapel, where deontology was discharged a long time ago. Okay, this is a little laying it on thick here for a newspaper. The Pembroke administration hides behind a facade of dedication and rectitude, but those of us who know any of their patients or worse, or among them, are aware of their deceit. In this temple devoted to dread, you will have to pay to get a bed. You will catch illnesses you never knew existed, and your corpse will be relieved of its possessions in the morgue. Guilty. Here, patients die overnight of wounds they never bore upon their arrival, and they call them accidents. I briefly interviewed Dr. Swansea, head of administration, declaimed a pent uh, pedantic Timor Mortis contur at me, fear of death confounds me before forcing us out of the establishment. Quotes in Latin will not be enough to keep us away from their morbidity. Volunteers are welcome to join me tomorrow morning in front of the hospital to demand clear facts of the state of this medical institution. Come in numbers. Interesting. All right. Probably some people left here I could kill. Oops. The West End of Flame. As I write these lines, the heart of London has stopped beating. This morning at 3 a.m., police forces organized the evacuation of thousands of residents insisting on the urgent nature of the situation. Thieves and freaks have been driven mad with the fever. We're flooding our streets. Our forces were too few and their crazed malice was too great. 
We are spread thin across London, and it is from a barricaded shelter that I write this dire report. What overran our beloved city? Was it the plague? That rumored illness coming from the most forsaken parts of town? Or was it the Lord himself telling us to flee a London that had become too corrupted, too unfaithful? Either way, our horm homes have been burned and nothing remains. Aloysius Dawson's vision of the West End, kept safe from the fiery menaces of outer London, was proven right. A wall was the only thing that might have kept us from such violence. But it's too late now. So here we are, crying over lost children, siblings, and parents, forced to wait for some sign of sanity while surrounded by lunacy and anarchy. The West End has fallen. How can the country survive this tragedy? Hello. <laughs> Hostile. Whoa, sorry. Oh no, Charlotte's dead. I like Charlotte. I killed too many people in the West End. This is my fault. So this problem is I don't like being evil because I feel bad. <sighs> Alright, let's see if Eddie is around to talk now. Rest to evolve, it says. Oh, I can still evolve even more? Nobody's getting sick anymore, that's good. Okay, are you in here, Edgar? There you are. Jonathan, my dear, I can <sighs> never thank you enough. Thank me? For what? Come now, you know what I mean. I am, well, I'm just Are you like though? Because you. you look a little better off than I am at this point. Making you my progeny was supposed to be a punishment, Dr. Swansea. Don't worry, I know. From time to time, I even experience glimpses, uh, flashes of your very thoughts. It can be somewhat annoying, my dear. Quite a punishment indeed. This guy missed the point. What will you do now that you are immortal? Experiment, my dear colleague. I have an eternity to make scientific progress. I could be the only scientist able to undertake extreme experiments upon himself. I've made a terrible mistake. My God, Edgar. Did you learn nothing from your forays into folly? I have, I swear. No more experiments on mortals. See? I said mortals. <laughs> How quickly the mind adapts. Vampire fanboys are the worst people to turn. What kind of experiments? Who knows? Nervous shock, brain damage, pain and recovery. There's almost no limit to what my body can now endure. I could be the next Henry Head. How do you feel since you changed? Absolutely fine. Did you know I can determine the health of every patient or nurse just by looking at him? Fascinating. Have you taken a life yet, Edgar? Don't you think that's a private matter? I would not ask you such an indiscreet question. Do you feel the hunger? Yes. It's very peculiar, not like mortal hunger at all. It's like I'm never sated. Fortunately, blood is no rare commodity at Pembroke. Will you continue as Pembroke's administrator? Of course. I can help more than ever. And since I'm already dead, I can't get sick. Have you seen Elizabeth? Has she passed this way since you returned? No. And I'm terrified to see her again. I really am, Jonathan. She could very well tear me to pieces for what I did. 
Are you not afraid Priwen will find you? Next time, they will do more than abduct and torture you. I remain a man of peace. If things were to go awry, I would flee rather than slice them up as you would, my friend. Have you news of Geoffrey McCullum? I'm sure both of you would have quite an interesting discussion after recent events. He left the hospital without being treated for the severe beating you gave him. We'll meet again soon enough. Does not the prospect of meeting him as a vampire thrill you? The two old enemies reunited post-mortem. Maybe we could even share a glass of... wine. I really don't know if he will accept his condition. He has spent his life beheading leeches, you know? Goodbye. Hmm. All right. I gotta wait until they're dead before I can go past them. If McCullum really drank the blood of King Arthur, then I may have found another vital ingredient for my recipe. Are you deaf? Easy does it, boys. We can deal with it. Don't like that. Blood. Sorry, sir. What's the Ah! <laughs> 
think I just went in a circle. There we go. Good evening, Vampire Hunter. Are you here to mock me, Reed? Not at all, McCollum. I am here because I need you. Really? I'm intrigued. Speak up, then. I need the blood of a king. The blood of Arthur. I'm certain that you possess it, and I must have it. The guard's most sacred and precious relic. Why would you... Ah... Uh... You found Marshall's memoirs. I should have destroyed that book. I need the antidote to save this city, McCollum. It is within me to take your words as truth. I want to, but I must know more. What precisely are your plans? A creature called a disaster is about to be unleashed. It falls upon me as once it did Marshall, to stop it before the whole country is ravaged. I should have destroyed that book. And yet, I wish I could join this battle alongside you. But this crusade is not mine to fight. Do you not understand? We wanted the same thing from the outset. A means to end this vampire epidemic. Not enemies. Maybe that is so. Take it then. I see no other hope for this city. If this is some trick, you will be damned, Dr. Reed. Pretty sure I already am damned, but thanks. Thank Indeed. Why are you the man who raised me after the brutal mur- We're both- Yes. And yet worse. My father returned to Dublin a vampire and tore out my mother's throat. And who was this man? Carl Eldritch. One time leader of Prewin. He killed my father in front of me. Helped me hunt my brother Ain after teaching me how to kill leeches. Cool. How are you adapting to immortality? I feel so powerful it gives me shivers. I could be the greatest vampire hunter ever. You are worst nightmare in truth. Will you leave the guard now that you are what you are? Are we not creatures of deceit? I could hide my nature from my men or name a successor. Go my own way. I know not yet my path. Will you hunt me down? You're a vicious beast, Reed. Perhaps the city needs you at this time. But I shall not forget what you did. Hmm. That could be interesting. Fair way. Do not stretch. Alright. Find a hideout to create the antidote. So 
I guess any hideout? Ooh, an unknown event has happened over there. Interesting. I don't think I want to go there. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, hope that wasn't valuable. Where's my crafting table? There we go. Look at my lovely craft table. The blend seems stable. Time to go and find Harriet in the sewers. All right. Okay. <laughs> hey, Carson. <laughs> Getting late. Yeah. Oh, almost time for bed here. Uh, and actually, I think we've reached a pretty good stopping point for today because we just made the antidote. So next time I stream, which will be soon, we'll take on Harriet Jones. Well, I hope that everybody enjoyed today's stream. Uh, we started off, <laughs> thanks Kyle. We started off um, not really sure what I was doing because I haven't played the game for four months, uh, but we've made progress. And I think next time we will finish Vampire. Uh, so I will stream again sometime this week, probably. Maybe Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, best place to find out when I'm streaming again, obviously you can follow me here on Twitch and get notifications when I go live, um, but also follow our social media, Prophecy Girls Podcast on Instagram or uh, Prophecy underscore Girls on Twitter, or you can join our Discord, prophecygirls.ca slash Discord, um, and I usually post when I go live, so sometime this week. <laughs> Uh, what else would I want to tell you? We have a merch store, prophecygirls.ca slash store. Uh, oh, enjoy the plotties, Mama Ashcats. Thanks for tuning in, Carson. Thanks, Thomas. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, prophecygirls.ca slash store for our merch. Prophecygirls.ca slash streams if you want to check out any of the VODs. If this was your first vampire stream with me, you can go back and you can see all the fun choices we made before. Thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in tonight, and I will be back soon. <laughs> Yay, I'm glad you like it. I like mine as well. Maybe I'll wear it next time. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody.